Ready to go camping? You wanna go? Nope. Okay, you can stay here. This is our site here at West Branch, number 26, and it is slopey, heavy to the front and back. So I know we're gonna have to use some blocks with that. But it is definitely still winter outside. <laughs> like I said, this site is quite unlevel. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven blocks. Dang. Uh oh. We're sharing a site with the playground. Gonna have to keep Mike away from those slides. <laughs> we ran a speed test. AT&T was okay. 35.3 download, 4.11 upload. We got T-Mobile. 154 download, 2.5 upload. That's a good download. Yeah, it is. Verizon's killing it though. 211 download, 8.02 upload. The large power stations are nice, but sometimes the little ones are perfect. I personally enjoy the little power stations the most. They are easy to move around. I can charge phones off of it very yeah, easily. This one's, that one's charging and that one's charging. Yeah, this is the Blue Eddy. EB3A. It's 268 watt hours and it's it's perfect for in yeah. here just to move around and stuff. Yeah, it even has a little light there. It, what's nice is like you mentioned it does have the wireless charging. For such a small power station I was surprised it, it had that. My goodness this fire. It's cold now. This is as big as it's gonna get though. That's what you call so, fire. That's all she got. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty funny looking at that race. Looks like it's taken off, ready for flight, but it's level now. That's all that matters. <laughs> Wonder how muddy this trail is gonna be. Very, it's only very point, muddy. It's only point four. It looked a lot less muddy up there. Yeah. And it's kind of been a little, a little squarshy. Seems like it's all right now. Is this the amphitheater? I think so. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yep. It's so sad compared to the Lincoln one that we saw. It was like state of the art. <laughs> oh yeah, in Indiana? Yeah, Lincoln Amphitheater, I believe it's called. This is a heck of an amphitheater. That'd be a pretty decent fire. Yeah. Just need to fill the middle of it. You know what's funny is I used, we used to build teepees just like this growing up and we want to camp in them and stuff. It took somebody a while to make yeah, that. Yeah, it did. So many brown jokes <laughs> if we're on the brown trail. Crazy, this tree is bent in half. <laughs> I, I think I know. She's like, where are you way over there? <laughs> They're gonna get lost. They need to hurry up. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we've ever done these trails before. Well, we've only been here one other time. Yeah, I know we did a little hike but I don't remember doing any of these no me neither 
they're not very long. So if you're not into the long hikes, this is a good park for you. Yeah, I mean, we're talking like half mile mm -hmm. each Plus, trail. The longest one is a mile total. So and there's only like three or four. So you can do like two miles and do all of them. <laughs> And of course, Piper goes around the bridge. Let's see what Guy does. Oh, <laughs> what the heck, Guy? <laughs> this trail is a little more rugged than the other side. Yeah, it's very twisty. Yeah. Got more elevation. Lots which, of I mean, roots. It's not a lot, but it's more than the other one had. Yeah, and it's also more muddy. Slippery, I should say. Very slippery. Does anyone know how deep this lake is here at West Branch? Uh, we were just out of curiosity. There's a little island out there. Yeah. And if the water were frozen, we could probably walk out there. Right. It's hard to see it. Right out there. Let us know. You know, in the comments. Ah. The sounds of nature, <laughs> yep. a chainsaw. It's what everyone li likes to hear on their hike. Elbow noodles. That doesn't look like pie crust. <laughs> I know, but I needed something to keep the pie crust from falling. And I don't have um, the beads that you're supposed to use. And I usually always have two pie plates and one fits inside the other. And I don't have the other one in here for some unknown reason. So I had to improvise. And this was my improvisation. It, it, it worked. The pie crust did not fall. I'm gonna peel this out of here. Fill it with the pie filling. I don't think Mike realizes how much work goes into or Piper it goes into lemon meringue pie. I do. What's wrong, Pike? Huh? Then I'm going to top it with the meringue, which is basically egg whites and sugar and a little bit of vanilla. But you don't want to whip them too much. It'll be too hard to spread and won't want to floof up around the crust, make it all pretty. How long have you been waiting for this pie, Mikey? Months. Months. <laughs> So let's start keeping track. This is pie number, it's gotta be pie number one, right? For the year. Yeah, for the year. For lemon meringue. I'm just talking specifically lemon meringue. He doesn't count any other pie. <laughs> lemon so. meringue is the only pie that matters. I'm gonna get a shirt made that says lemon meringue pie matters. Mm-hmm, he would. And he'd wear it probably all the time because he loves it so much. Get it sealed around the edges and then I just kind of use my spatula to give the little tops that will bake all pretty in the confection. Piper, you can't have none, girl. She's like, why not? Put my gloves on. And it's nice because then I just use the whole 
turntable and put the whole thing back in. And we have it. Now we wait. I heard the timer. Yep. Oh man. Look at that. Yeah, it looks perfect. Looks like lemon meringue perfection. Now you just have to wait like three hours to eat it. Maybe three minutes. <laughs> three hours. The dog walked by, so Piper had to let everyone know that she owns this site. You guys just make a noise just because. <laughs> I think he was sleeping. He was. He's like, I heard noise. I'm here for backup. <laughs> Using my potato method again. He used it in a video over the summer. Could because I'm gonna be grilling some chicken. I don't want it to stick. It worked really well. I'll link that video above. I want to check it out. I'll show the results in this one as well. Just take a potato, cut it in half, and uh, rub it on there. Apparently, the starches don't let the uh, chicken stick to the grill. That it really moves around, glides around the grill, which is awesome. I mean, if you've ever grilled chicken, you know that it doesn't just slide around like this. These are seasoned with my Grillaholic salt, pepper, garlic, and I've also got my grill spray out here. Yep, it just slides right around. This is amazing. Last time we were here was five years ago. We had the Airstream. Yeah, that was our my first trip in the Airstream was actually here, and we haven't been back since. <laughs> it's not a terrible park in my opinion, but you won't find a level site. No, no, <laughs> and if you do find a level site, there's gonna be trees right up on the pad of your site. When we had the Airstream here five years ago, the nose was all the way down as far as it would go when we still weren't level. And this time our nose is up off the ground and we we're mostly level. Yeah. So I think we're going to get back on the road and find another park. So until next time, see ya. See ya. What are we doing out here? Freezing. That's what we're doing. <laughs>